Man. What's up, world? It's your boy back with another video. I think that's the first time I did two in a day. I'm trying to become more uh, diligent. A lot of times I just don't be having stuff to talk about. Or I don't necessarily know how to articulate it. <sighs> but, uh, and I'll routinely, and I'll admit to this, like, I'll get, like, topics of conversation from other YouTube and just put my own little spin on it. So I've seen that Ma Master, Minister Jap is on a live talking about the smell of the BBW. And I don't really do lives. I'll catch it normally on playback. But it just made me think about my experiences and hear what my experiences are. And this isn't a black women bashing session by no means. This is just stating the facts, not an opinion. These are the facts. Um. Man, and 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 I'll preface this by by telling a story from yesterday. It was a nice day here in Maryland, so I was delivering orders, whatever, whatever. Had a lull in the action and seen the homies on the set. Now, mind y'all, normally I don't stay long, type of conversation, but I try to be social. And it was nice outside. Let me get you know whatever, right? So these are like I'm forty something. These homies are like in their early fifties. Right. And they subscribe to which would a bore minister Jack. They like to, you know, buy, buy the yams, buy sex, which is totally beyond me. And then my homeboy, he makes a valiant case for why he does it because he's married and he don't want to meet him. He don't want to get to know. Him. He just want to get the box and get gone. And he don't want him coming back, you know, saying whoop the whoop to his wife and so on and so forth. And blase, blase. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? Just not for me. But in, in him having these conversations, you know, open dialogue with a few of us out there. And I was kind of taken back because I guess there were two females prior to me getting there. And, you know, they're trying to see what's up with them. So my mind say, uh, let me smell it. Like, he's real. He's really up front. Like, he don't play no game. He's like, let me let me smell it or something. And then she responded with, oh, I got to wash it off. So the other homeboy house that we were in front of was like, you know, you can go in there and tighten yourself up, whatever, whatever. So I guess she went in there, did whatever. But then my homeboy who owns the home come back and say, I don't see not never wet rag around here. Meaning she didn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? So I guess my other homeboy kept messing with her and he dug in it or whatever he called himself doing. And I said, oh, no, he said it stank, right? He's, and then he tells me stories of, you know, when he would get tricks, he would bait them in by saying, yeah, I'm going to pay you whatever. Um, but let's take a shower together, baby. That's my thing. Which is his way of, he want to wash it himself. But here's here's where my brain coming at, right? Why would you even want to, now granted, you know, why would you even want to stick your meat in something that isn't, isn't, isn't even sanitary? You know what I mean? Like, she doesn't take care of it. Why would you want to go in it? It's just beyond me, like... And even my homeboys now, I got love for them. And that's why I really don't be super-duper social. Because this is just yet another example of me just, you know... Being social around people and hearing the substance of the conversation. And then my face get frowned up. Like, yo, what is they talking about? Do they hear how crazy this sound? And if you let everybody else tell it... Maybe because I don't respond the way everybody else do, like I'm crazy. But that's crazy to me. And your meat still get hard and you still want to have paid to have sex with this woman whom you're only going to give, according to him, 15 to 20 dollars. Is that even worth it? You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, it's crazy. And then we were joking about, and I seen him yesterday. This was day before yesterday. And I seen him yesterday. And they were talking about how the, these same females were going to come back around Cause one of the guys gets SSI. So, you know, like they know when guys get their check and stuff like that. And I'm just like, it's got to be a better way. I just can't even being older. Like I'll try to put myself in other shoes. I'm like, I still can't see myself doing that. yo. Just me being set up the way I am to each his own. But this is what, and I've made a statement like, man, you ever thought about finding some better hoes? Even if you're going to, you know, be a whoremonger. Like, isn't there a better quality of hoe somewhere? 
in there. Well, don't even want to take it. And then, you know, man, just then if she don't take care of her box, me being a deeper thinking individual, I'm pretty sure she don't take care of her mental health or anything else for that matter. Considering you're, you're, as a woman, your coochie is your prized possession. And you treat that any kind of way. So imagine who you give it to. You know what I mean? Like, this is crazy, yo. But it just made me think about just the decorum of the black women that I've met. I'll just say as far back as my, my journey of enlightenment. You know what I mean? Whether, you know, I was personally in treatment myself and they were staff members or I got to go down social service and deal with them. They're the most rude, unprofessional women on earth. Like, I used to dread having to go down social service because I can have everything tight work, you know what I'm saying? But I already know, you know, she might make me wait because she talked to a homegirl on the phone or, you know what I'm saying? Be rude. Like, I learned this one. Like, if she start off with a whole bunch of rude or just, you know, masculine type energy, for my own purpose, I would have to, like, as I like to call it, cut into them. So I give them a compliment, like, oh, my, your hair, or I fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Because they, these women are starved for attention, and they don't care where it come from. You know what I'm saying? Or or go back and forth with them a little bit and get the juice flowing. Like, yeah, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like, they like that shit, too. Like, it's crazy, yo. Yeah, I remember the first day I was working at the job, yo, and uh, I had to kind of quasi-train this younger girl who was 24 at the time, right? And, uh, you know, so I'm telling her about the job and whoop the whoop the woo, and then I'm telling her, like, the unwritten stuff about the job because I, I keep it real. So she goes use the bathroom, the staff bathroom, right? So I don't think nothing of it. You know what I'm saying? Boo the whoop. This is her first day on the job. And then I think I had to, you know, use the bathroom maybe approximately 10 minutes after her, not thinking anything of it. Went in that joint, and I said, oh, damn, little shawty. Man, she blew the joint up and left skid marks in the toilet. So I was like, yo, that's wow, yo. And I'm thinking, of course, I'm not a woman, so I don't know, but I'm thinking as a woman, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I get up, you know, you see you left monster truck rally in the back of the toilet. You know what I mean? I think you, you know, at least clean it up so the next person come behind me like, oh, well, that was her in there. You know what I mean? Damn, what could, you know what I'm saying? So I, like, I, I gave it a second, and then I rolled down on her. And I said, yo, you, you realize, yo, this is your first day on the job, sister girl. And then she younger, so I kind of feel the need to coach her or at least attempt to try to. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, whoop the whoop. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this is the first day on the job. Yo, you left skid marks in the toilet, yo. You know what her response was? Yeah, that's what happened. I got to go. It, she wasn't embarrassed or she wasn't uh, uh, coy about it or anything. She doubled down like, yeah, do you the bathroom? You know what I'm saying? She had that with bathroom four. I'm thinking she'd be embarrassed like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. She was like, she stood on business. I said, yo, I'm th- I ain't doing her favor. I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, and this is a young sister. And this is the same sister that I explained on another video I come to discover. Got a sex tape out there that the former client is showing everybody almost along the lines of, look what I had this beat. Look what I had this bitch done. You know what I'm saying? Like, she ain't nothing. You know what I mean? Yo, our sisters are so far gone in so many different areas and pertaining to life that the only thing they really can hang their hat on is their education or whatever uh, social status that the, 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 the system gives her or the society rather. But as far as just being, take strip that away, And just as a human being, these bras are horrendous. You know what I mean? Like, wow. Like, I've seen sisters be jiggy fire jazzed up. And then they can't, then they'll come out and they can't like baby kids. You know what I'm saying? Holes in their clothes or, you know what I'm saying? Doogie locks. How you got doogie locks and little homie four years old? But you jazzy like you on uh, Housewives of Atlanta. How? 
And then again, at the same time, you can't tell these women anything about anything unless you're pandering to their dysfunction. Like, if I wanted to, you know, kind of try to expedite my campaign to the top, I just tell women what, they, what I know they want to hear. I just gas them up like that and bamboozle them. But you tell people the truth out of love. You know, corrections out of love, like you correct your child because you love them. If you let them do it, because you don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But I was just thinking about that, like, yo, these Johnsons. And I, I just think back, you know, a handful of times, like, and of course the coochie's supposed to have a natural odor. I get that. You know, I'm almost 40. I'm out that mob. You know what I mean? But, you know, hook up with a shot and she bad or chub or, or whatever physical attraction. And then get down that, you know what I'm saying? When get down to the get down time. And that joint just tear your nostrils all up, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, why, yo? And then here's another one which probably contributes to this. Black women have horrible diets. That's why most of them are, you know, there's the, the, the global stereotype of the stupid American, which is true. And But there's also, like, this foreign joke, I guess, overseas of America's the only place where poor people are fat. You know what I'm saying? Like they're 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 uh uh in the same one I'm talking about. Um like I would just have conversations with her, you know what I'm saying? And just throw like and I would like bring people food like just off the love that, you know, uplift the environment. So I'd pick a staff member every other day or something like that and just bring them lunch, you know what I'm saying? Which is something I ate and cooked and I just gave them some of it, you know what I mean? You know, a nice meal, you know what I'm saying, home cooked with a vegetable, you know what I'm saying? Woo -woo -woo -woo. But every time I seen this, this sister in particular, and now she's super big, boy, and I used to tell her this. I said, you can get away with it now because you're 24. But you don't want to, you know, start trending into 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 a, a mammy's role where you, you start becoming the older, aggressive, overweight, you know what I'm saying, Johnny Bravo built black woman, yeah? That ain't going to happen to me. Well, it's not going to happen to you. And it happened to everybody else in here. Look at them. You know what I'm saying? Like, But I'm saying this how I love, not like disrespectful or, you know what I'm saying? But, yo, she, every, you know what I'm saying? And I never, yo, and I remember, you know, looking at these, these women at the job, and none of them ever brought any food from home. They always door dashed or brought pizza. I get it, but I'm like, do y'all, any of y'all meal prep and all y'all got kids? You know what I'm saying? They was, all, like, the, the sister I'm talking about, man, she would always order, like, these five-pound calzones or gyros, just beef and cheese, you know, mudslide food. Or going to bind you up. You know what I'm saying? And I would like... And I, you know, well, I was pretty cool, so I could joke with her. But I'm, I'm telling the truth at the same time. Because when you joke, it's a little more palatable. You know what I'm saying? The stomach. I said, I said, baby girl, I know your pH balance off. I have never seen you drink juice or water. Or or consume any fruit on the job site. Nothing but a, a sweaty Sammy or sweaty Polox. Five pound gyro extra beef and cheese. You know what I'm saying? I know that box, I know that box need an oil change, shot it. You know what I mean? Yeah, drink some water, yo. Don't do it for you, do it for me. Do it for the greater good. You know what I'm saying? Yo, then one day, <laughs> I'm just flowing with this. And that's why I like society. Like, I don't fool with society. But then it be tripping me out when I actually have my personal interactions in it. So, she was explaining to me, you know, we were talking about dating one day, and then she divulged that she had a girlfriend, which kind of made me slide down the wall. I'm thinking she done with knock knock somebody. But she was out the gay mob, and I'm like, all right, whatever, cool, whatever, right? So we had these conversations. So I'm like, you know, do you ever yearn for some sausage? You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, what I need sausage for? You know what I'm saying? I got the plastic. I was like, it's not the same, yo. No, not like, not, mm -mm, excuse me, not like I would know, but. I'm just like, yo, eventually you're going to start yearning for some beef. The plastic not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's like drinking Zimas. Like, okay, you do it for a while, but eventually you want something you can feel. Something that's going to affect you. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, da, da, da. But then come to find out, you know, she was doing things behind the scenes with guys and whatever, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, all right. I already knew better. Like, I wasn't paying no mind. I got no sense not to listen to any hoes. 
But I remember she was talking, and then she she described her her private area, her you know her coochie, right? And you know, I guess people put you know sometimes give their their private parts a nickname. And she was referring and talking about you know her significant other, and you know she was saying if she don't do right, she ain't gonna get no big moose. I said, boy, my my brain came to an abrupt halt, a screeching halt. I said, her? I said, yo yo, hold up, who big moose? I know Big Moose ain't who I think it is. She said, who you think it is? I said, no, no, I know you don't call your stuff no Big Moose. She said, yeah, that's her name. I said, I, I said, yo, now you know, I got to think now. I said, yo, and I'm just thinking as a black man, let's see if I, I found interest in her, right? And then eventually she sprung this on me. I do all this work or, or we talking for how long we talking. And then the prize is some coochie called Big Moose. I can't even tell the homies about no shit like that. Like, yeah, Shorty gave me some big moose. You know what I mean? Not no kitty cat or, you know what I'm saying? Nothing feline, you thinking, you know, that's dainty and you got a pet. Big moose, that thing, that that, that caught something up that needs to be slayed and slaughtered or, or hunted with brute force. You know what I'm saying? Like the mental image I had of her, like, you know, getting these, like, 37-inch dildos and, and ramming them up or, or backing herself up when they get plugged into the wall and, you know what I'm saying? Now, now it's big moose. It's, it's just young and destroyed from 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 mechanical devices, not even actually pipe. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, and this is a young sister. She ain't even been in the world like that that long. Good. You know what I'm talking about? And then, like again, so I be having to know who I'm around. I'm like a dirt road journalist in my spare time. So there was another younger sister that she was. That used to work that she was cool with but she got far from messing with the clients because the client came up there and tried to get her car you know what i'm saying old stupid shit, right so i seen her in planet fitness one day and she was in there butt naked so i talked to my old co-worker you know just tell her she in her butt naked she's like you should talk to him I'm like eh, i don't know because she she's actually dealt with two homies that i personally know of and then they said whatever about it and the one dude he's an od he didn't die now so i'm like eh. i play around but i'm like eh. So I talk to her, I take her down to the water, and we talk for like four hours. I'm trying to see where her head at. Um, and I can see it's easy, I can get it. But I'm like, I don't like easy coochie no more. Because easy coochie come with a lot of problems. And I perceive, and my man told me she was clingy, so I'm like, uh, I don't know. But I want to fuck, but, uh, you know, I'm in that space, right? So we're just chit-chat, and then she divulges to me that the, the, stat, the, the my old former co-worker, uh, her older sister actually attempted to reach out to her to get her over to the house because her and her boyfriend wanted to have a trizzy with her. And she might have been 20 at the time, maybe 21. But it's just so insane how, like, these black women are so freaked out. Like, they're, they're past the point of no return. Like, I'm thoroughly convinced if you run, you like, you can probably take a duke on them or, you know what I'm saying? Like, they want to be, like, complete. Not, I get, you know, if you got a rapport with a guy, you've been messing with him for a while, you want him to smut you out, out of comfortability or try different thing with him. But these joints will let you spit on them. You know what I'm saying? These joints will let you use their face like a coochie. They taking it up in their cheeks now as a badge of honor. And these are the women you want to, not even, not even relationship wise, but let's just say somehow in your social circle. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm not the judgmental guy, but as I'm just more self aware and socially conscious, it's ultimately a turn off because it alludes to your mental and a, your mental, spiritual and emotional state. And that's what I'm gonna have to deal with. And I don't wanna deal with no wild shit because I came too far and I've endured too much. You know what I'm saying? Because that stuff always manifests itself down the line somewhere. You know what I mean? But I'm just thinking about, like, then we had to, just the decorum, right? We had another staff member who was actually very physically or, or facially attractive. She going hard in the paint to the point where she's picking up clients as soon as they get out and getting them drunk so she can have drunk sex. You have to be soulless in order to do that. And she's had numerous reports and, you know, this on her jacket. But it doesn't go anywhere. 
So I think she done sucked the owner off or something or tightened him up twice a week. You know what I mean? But she was devoting to me that she got, uh, you know, butt renovation surgery. So she shows me this video of an area view of her twerking. And I never really paid much attention to her to know if she had one or not. But it's crazy because if she's, you know, she's bent over and you're looking at it from like the ceiling fan angle. Like her hips are very pointy. Like, like if you were to ride a, a huffy bicycle. It's like she has hand, like, it's not round. It's like an obtuse triangle. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, what made you do that? And according to her, she got a man. I'm like, well, what does he think about it? She tell me. She didn't consult, ask, tell him nothing. He just got to put up with the fact you done changed your whole body. And you ain't changing for him. You know what I mean? <laughs> they gone, bro. And I reached back out to him through a third party that I knew would send or let them hear the, the audio messages. And I told them about theyself, yo. I said, man, y'all despicable, yo. Y'all motherfuckers are despicable. Y'all make us look bad, yo. How is it you're a healthcare professional, but 85 to 90% of y'all of that demographic, which is 85 to 90%, got men, but all y'all have numerous entanglements fucking with clients who previously you meeting them with just smoking coke. You know what I mean? Not, I ain't no hater. But how you still a hell of a woman? Or in one breath, you'll say, oh, uh, in order to be in a relationship with me online, you know what I mean? The brother got made six figures and had this and had that and da-da-da. But you're routinely getting smutted out by people who got drug addiction problems. And more often times than not, you bought them a phone or, or you bought them some shoes or put money in their pocket. See how inverted and butt backwards all this shit is? The, the men who women should clamor to for relationships and to get down with his get down are getting overlooked. And the men who, if you put them into any other culture functionally, would have a hard time getting women. That's not the problem. They can have 99 problems. But getting a, a woman ain't one. And then they'll turn around and then complain about the level of the guys they pick. They're done, bro. I gotta go back over this. They're done on so they're done mentally. They're done behaviorally. They're done spiritually. They're done emotionally. In most cases, they're done financially. They're done physically. Something is happening with these black women where their bodies aren't even looking the same. They're getting very Johnny Bride, like, you know, big up top, little down bottom. You know what I'm saying? Or, or something is happening where their shoulders are protruding for some odd reason. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're getting more masculine facial features or, or more of a, a, a hardness of just their aura and energy. And, you know what I'm saying? This shit is insane, bro. America has to be destroyed, yo. Because, I mean, let's say another five to ten years of this. They're going to give out tranny energy. They're already doing it. Man, that's all I wanted to come through with, man. I'm going to holler at y'all. Ooh, oh.